was looking for spiritual understanding at one point in my life. I realized that I didn't really have a direction. I knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't have the strength. Oh, I was drinking to my smoking. I was using drugs. I was doing this. I mean, I didn't have anything firmly that said, oh, this is it. So I was looking for spiritual uh, upliftment, if you can say, and I came upon yoga. I taught myself, and then I went to India and got more into it at an ashram. When I went to India, the only thing I took with me was a bag and my horn, and I was prepared to find my answers, and uh, it, it, it worked out well. <laughs> It's a monastic existence, but it's not, no one was required to stay there. In other words, I used to go into Bombay, get on the train, right into Bombay. In fact, I used to go to Bombay and I heard some great Indian music in Bombay. And I finally had some, met some friends in Bombay. And uh, so when you say monastic, I mean, I wasn't like in a, cloistered place where you couldn't, you know, it wasn't like that. While you were at the ashram, uh, there were certain, uh, uh, how should I say, uh, studies which uh, we were engaged in. And actually I had a chance to travel with the Swami who was the head of this particular ashram. And we traveled uh, through India, not very far, but on, on a nice trip we made. And uh, the point was being in that atmosphere. That was what the, it, it, that, that's what it was about. There was not a lot of formal study, but there was some. There was, there was some formal study, but uh, it was up to you to sort of get yourself together. It wasn't like, uh, you know, gee, I'm going to learn how to meditate and all this stuff. No, you had to want to meditate and be around like-minded people. Be around people that had studied yoga and all of this stuff. It was more of that type of a atmosphere there. See, yoga means to join heaven and earth. That would be, the, uh, that is what that means, body and soul. That's what yoga means, to join them together. So uh, when you're doing a exercise like they do in America, uh, it's a big craze. They, they're talking about one form of yoga, hatha yoga. And I say exercises, but they're not exercises. They're positions through which you would get a insight into the higher. See, it, I mean, it's about your soul, it's not about your body. Body and soul are attached, so therefore, you do these asanas and people think, well, that's yoga. Well, that's one form of yoga. There are many other forms of yoga, as I said. So I, I consider myself uh, learning. I don't know everything about anything, but I know a little bit about yoga. It's never ending until you have to learn what life is about, what your place is in life, what am I here for, what am I supposed to be doing? Am I supposed to be doing something? I'm just here to enjoy, eat ice cream, and what's, what's the point? So, you know, this is, a, this is wisdom. Wisdom is gained slowly. <laughs> <laughs>